a lot of people have taken interest in this story of the thirsty crow and quite a many of you have asked for its explanation i'll be using the simulations which are popularly called fat simulations made by colorado university to explain this phenomena this is the simulation by colorado university fat simulations this is the link to begin with let's have a block of wood having this density mass is 2 kg 5 liters volume and let's place it in water and see the water level it is 100 liter quantity now when you place this block of wood you expect it to float but then look at the quantity of water when you put this wood in the water it floats now when it is floating it basically means that the downward force which is its weight mg is being balanced by an upward force now this upward force which is basically the buoyant force is equal to the weight of liquid that it has displaced now in this case you check this quantity it was 100 earlier and now it has become 102 so it has displaced 2 liters of water now 1 liter of water has a weight of 1 kg so 2 liters of water has a weight of 2 kg so this is balancing its weight now let's have this situation where we have four blocks all of them have same mass but then they have different densities so that's why you see their volumes are different now this one 5 kg if you put it in water what do you expect this 100 liter how much will it become this has a weight of 5 kg so a 5 kg force has to apply upwards now because water 1 liter has 1 kg so it should replace 5 liters of water and it should become 105 let's see it stabilizes to 105 and it is floating now let's take another block this one is the densest looking so let me take this 5 kg block and put it over this block so this is the situation where the coins are placed in the boat and now you see one thing this 105 now this is 5 and 5 if it floats then this 105 should become 110 why this will be total 10 kilogram force and to balance it out a 10 kilogram force has to act upwards so the weight of liquid displaced water in this case should become 110 let's see it is still floating somehow it is managing to float do you see the volume of liquid has become 110 because 10 liters of water has to be displaced that will apply a force of 10 kilogram force upwards now the situation where the coins are dropped into the tank now this 5 kg block if it is put in the tank its density is more it will sink if it sinks it means the upward force is not equal to 5 kg force it is less had it been 5 it would float so it means the upward force if it is not 5 then it is not going to displace a volume of 5 liters it is going to displace a volume less than 5 now let's see this is a situation when coins are dropped into the lake uh, this is a situation when coins are in air you see the volume of liquid is 105 and now I drop this one now you see this 5 kg block the volume of liquid displaced by this block is minus 105 which was earlier so it is 1.25 liters which means the upward force by fluid over it is 1.25 kilogram force the downward force is 5 so this one sinks had this force been 5 then this block would also have been floating because it sinks it means this weight is more than the upward force acting on it 
and now you see volume which was 110 here is now only 106 this is the case when the crow drops those coins into the lake the level which was 110 becomes 106.25 it means the level has gone down 